there, Tom Segura. How you doing, pal? I'm, I'm, I, I have to tell you right away, I feel awful that you're here. Why? Because I know you don't want to be here. Like, no. I know. Like, According Bert, to Bert, Bert's you got to be so, so messed up mentally that you are here. I've, I, I don't know Tom really well at all, but I've become a fan in the last uh, couple of years. And well, now, thanks. Yo, know, I, and, and I enjoy, I mean, we put a lot of people on that I don't like, but we, I mean, if we have somebody that I like on the show, like, I want them to have a good experience. Bert has mentally after me on this entire appearance. Yeah, that's just, you know, he's just playing games. Man. Yeah, he yeah. is. You know why? Because he's racist. I, he's fat and racist, yeah. <laughs> that's Double true. whammy. Bert KKK Kreischer. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the camaraderie between the two of you I has gotten so much. Like, I, even he the other day when he tweeted out his tour dates over the your face, that I thought hilarious. that was hilarious. That was yeah. very funny, yeah. Uh, and he did, but he did say something about you yesterday. I, he, we talked to him, and I told him that you were coming on the show. Yeah. I had to wait till the last minute because I didn't want him to try and call and convince you not to do it. <laughs> and then uh, I told him yesterday, and I go, I'm, I got to tell you, I'm a little bit intimidated, and I'm usually not. And he goes, what? why? He goes, why? Because time is silent and unapproving. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yes. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it, we have this great uh, like uh, balance to our dynamic, right. right? The two of us, and he's fun, and I, yeah. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, you know, I think it's probably why we get along so well uh, for a long time. But uh-huh. I mean, I was excited to 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 come in, and then the cherry on top was that you told me Bert loses money if I come $600. in. Six hundred dollars. Yeah, I was like, I'm in. He came yeah. in here all stacks. Of, he's Hollywood Bert now all uh, day long. Yeah, uh, yeah you like, guys ruined him. Yeah. He comes in here with stacks of money all laid out on the table. Oh my God. And he's like, This is my merchandise money, blah, blah, blah. And I started talking about you, and you and I had already talked. Yeah. And you said you were going to come in. And I go, You know, Tom's coming in. And he goes, Ha 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 ha. I'm going to call him right now. I go, I'll call him right now. I have his number. You don't have the right number. I got the right number. And I'm like, Well, okay. And he goes, I'll bet you all this money right here. Tom's girl will not be in the studio. And I was like, How much is there? And he goes, Like 600 and some dollars. I go, All right. I'll collect it. Damn, he doesn't sell that much merch, but that is cool <laughs> that he loses it. You better collect. Yeah, oh, I will. I'll beat it out of him. All right. That, yeah. that was that was what I was most excited about. Now, you know you have been on this show one time before. I have? You've never been in the studio. Let me, let's take you down the road of our relationship. Okay. Because it's really Bert's fault. The first time you came in was before, I don't even know if you and Bert were that tight at the time. Your wife was here in her only debut with uh, April Macy, and we were doing afternoons. Okay. We didn't know either one of them, and the club sells us on April is really hot. She's with another girl who's really hot, and I'm like, all right, we like hot girls. Bring them in. Sure. Turns out they were both great guests on the radio. Oh, that's great. They were they were like I have never. April Macy's a great guest on the show. I have never seen her do comedy, but she's been on the show like seven times. Yeah, because she's good when she's on the show. We sure. put tarantulas on her. We let her do whatever we want. She's game. She's game. Your your wife was killed like she was great and uh your wife uh this was eight years ago maybe i don't know if you had maybe kids even more or whether yeah she uh was looking pretty sexy and at one point we asked her if we could see her boobs but it wasn't like hey can we see your boobs it yeah. came up in conversation about boobs and she was like i would show them to you but i have to ask my husband and we were like all right call him up and ask him what does he do and she's like he's a comic so we called you and you were you were typical tom you were like what? And you were like, I don't care. And you're like, nah, I don't know. You were fine. Like, you were oh, like any husband. I'm surprised I, I wasn't like, yeah. You you <laughs> might have been a little, but then I think, I, I, you know, if I'm a husband and I'm talking to my wife, I go, yeah, don't show these douchebags your boobs. Afternoon drive in Tampa. No thanks. <laughs> Save it for the bigger market. Right. So, uh, so it wasn't like, it wasn't a bad thing. We were just like, oh, all right, whatever. And it was wrapping up the interview. Okay. Then you were on the show. Then Bert is, you're coming to Tampa and Bert is pushing you on us. Hardcore. He's like, you don't have Tom on you. No, I probably would have had you on either way, just because the club would have said, "Hey, this guy's funny." Yeah. And I was, All right. Also, prior to that, well, that, was... that's this is what I was leading up to. He, yeah. He ruined his reputation with recommending uh, guests on our show. Is oh, he... that sounds very burnt. Yeah. He yeah, pushed yeah, yeah. Bob Biggerstaff on us. <laughs> Do you know that guy? I know Bob. Yeah. yeah he tanked hard. Oh, he did. And, uh, but and... wait, tanked in that like. It just you guys just didn't click. Or... No, no, he, we clicked fine. He just wasn't funny. Oh. And then he was using like old. I mean, this is again. This is like ten years ago, so it was no big okay. deal. And uh, and then we're like, well, now we're not gonna try. And then Bert wanted it so bad that it automatically turned me off. I was like, now now I don't like the guy. Now I don't want him on the show. And I didn't even know you at all. And yeah, I feel I'm. I'm by the way, I'm just like you 
with that when people are like, you got to do this, yeah. mm-hmm. or you got you got to watch this show, you got to you have to talk to this person. I'm like, nah, dude, yeah. no, yeah. I don't. You, this is my favorite thing about that is like, no, I don't. No, right, yeah. Right. Yeah. I know. These guys have been trying to get me to watch MacGruber for. A lifetime now, and I'm like, I don't want to watch it because you want me to watch yeah, it. Yeah, so stop bad. asking me to watch it. But I also don't care that. You're right, right, right. I'm just telling you, it's funny. Watch it if you want to. Yeah. I care. You should watch Thank it. Thank you. So uh, then, years later, I'm up in Opie and Anthony's studio, and you're on the air with Rogan and Ricky Gervais. Oh yeah, and you, that's now, right. I, I ran into you in the hallway. Yeah, there. I, I remember I, that. I just stopped up to say hi, and I'm in the production studio, sitting behind you. You have your back to me, and I'm watching Rogan and Gervais debate hunting and animal care yeah. and all that. And they were really going at it. It was good radio, and you just kind of, and sort of Opie and Anthony, you kind of just sat back and yeah. kept your mouth shut. Now I'm texting Bert. 32 minutes, Segura hasn't said a word. <laughs> on, you know? Yeah. But then I talked to you afterwards, and you were such a nice guy. Then fast forward again uh, to last year, and your special came out, and I'm like, all right, now everybody's at Netflix special. I'm like, let me watch this thing. I, I got to tell you, I, I started tag, I tweeted you, I tweeted Bert, I called my mother, I told everybody. I'm like, this is the funniest goddamn thing. I also, at the same time, discovered edible pot. Nice. I'm, ne- I'm never helps. really a pot smoker. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then they put it in candy form, and then I started to do it a little bit, which I don't anymore. I gave up after a year. But I will tell you, the, the highest I've ever been was watching you do the thing where you speak different languages and different, like when you see different people speak to their... I just lost my mind driving home with tears out of my eyes. And then I think Burke got mad at me because I told him, I called him and told him how funny you are. Thanks, man. And that, that ruined it. For That's me. very nice of you. Thank you. I, oh, I appreciate that. Thanks so much, It's man. the truth, man. So now you've got huge success. And uh, yeah, you still don't seem very happy. No, I mean, I, <laughs> I, I am. I actually, this is pretty happy for me. This is a happy yeah, look? This is a pretty enthusiastic look. What is look. a fun, like, what do you do during the day? What is a fun day for you? Um, because Bird said we get along very good. Bird goes, you only, you guys only care about eating mm-hmm. and Porsches. Yeah, and what was? Oh, Porsches. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What was that? I thought I was getting picked up in a Porsche this morning. Well, <laughs> so my buddy Pete owns a boutique car dealership that yeah. sells high end cars. The one, the video that Bert did that Porsche yeah. that was at where he came down the yeah. stairs. Yeah. And he uh, like, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So I called uh, Pete and I was like. Can we get Tom in a Porsche? Pete's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then afterwards, Pete's like, I have no Porsches left. I'm sold out. <laughs> and oh. I go, well, you better go find one. Yeah, go get a Porsche, yeah. dude. Yeah. I was like, he's like, the only one I have is on consignment. I don't own it. If somebody takes it out and wrecks it, I'm going to be tied to it. Probably like, smart right. move by that guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, because bad things will happen to us if possible. I don't know. Don't you feel like, I mean, you probably, you're a routine guy for sure, right? Yeah. You do, I have no choice. So it's like, yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm pretty into a routine. I mean, touring is disruptive to routines. Right. But other than that it's like we do our we have a tuesday's like our podcast day yeah wednesday's always like personal day uh you know they i have two young kids how old are your kids three years old and about to be eight months old so you know it's just like a lot of home life stuff that's a rough yeah man i mean i imagine we're close similar in age. yeah yeah yeah. and so it's like and then you know doing spots but it just feels all pretty much like the routine i don't i mean nothing exciting you know nothing Um, no. <laughs> Nothing fun. <laughs> you know. What? All right, let me answer this. What would you do if you were retired? What do you want? Like, what? Because I, all I want, in my mind, I lay in bed at night and I yeah. fall asleep. I think about, I fantasize about retirement. Right. And in my mind, I've had this cabin in the middle. I say Montana, but I've only been to Montana once. I, I really think care. I say Montana yeah. sometimes, too. I wanted to be away from people in the snow. I yeah. want to be cold yeah. and away from people. And in my fantasy, nobody else is in the cabin except for me. I think I left the family. <laughs> the yeah. Them, yeah. My wife got mad at me because I'm turning 40. Right. And, uh, oh, I'm I, way older yeah, than you. I'm turning okay. 40 and uh, I just look bad. But I'm turning <laughs> yeah, 40. <laughs> I have a weathered, beaten, not healthy look. But, um, yeah, it's crazy, man. It's my whole life, too. Like, when I was 17, people were like, are you 36? And I was like, no. I'm a junior in high school. Man. Um, but my wife was like, what do you want to do if you're 40th? And I was like, you know what I really want to do? I want to go to the track. Um, and with some of my friends and do just laps. And she was like, can I be involved? And I was what like, do you mean? Whoa, with like what? With what? And she was, yeah. Oh, and, I didn't know what you meant. Yeah. I thought you meant the horse track. No, no, bet. just just driving. Yeah, 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 And she was like, can I be involved? And I was like, I mean, not for that part. Yeah. And, and then she's like, well, it's your 40th. And I was like, right. 
<laughs> so I want to go have fun with my friends. It's like a bachelor like, party. She's like, I'm your wife. And yeah. I was like, exactly. And then I'll come home. And I'll be like, hey, I had fun today. Like, that's, I have a cake ready for me. Yeah. That's your portion of it. Yeah. And she's like, what about the kids? I'm like, the kids definitely can't come to the track. Like, what are you talking about? They don't even have a license. Yeah, but I, I want to be alone. <laughs> but I love her. Don't that's get me wrong. I, my, I, how long have you been married? Uh, 10 years now. Okay, so I've been married. Uh, it'll be 16 years this month. And I feel the same way. My wife, like, my, if I want to go to Vegas, my go-to is my wife. I go, you want to, she'll gamble, she yeah. hangs out. Yeah. She's cool. But there are certain things in my life I don't want her to be involved in. And it has nothing to do with other girls or anything like that. I just, I don't. Although I have to say, if I was a comedian and I left, like, every Wednesday to go on the road, yeah. I'd probably, I'd be banging chicks in every city possible. Yeah. If you were that, it, that's the thing is like you think that, but it's like if you're that guy. Like there yeah. are those guys who, and it makes you're like, oh yeah, he's out there just crushing. I mean, I wouldn't want to find love. I'm not looking for a hot chick, but yeah. I'll take a pig or like something like that, something that nobody will ever know about that I'll never see so again. Gracious of sure. you. Oh, I'm, I'm just being, I'm just being honest. I, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not getting tens. I'll take a six when nobody's looking. And yeah, yeah, I'm not doing that. But I would if I was, if I was in Iowa. On a, I think on if I had started the road like that, you know what I mean. But by the time I was really working the road, I was already in a relationship. But I think if I'd started like that, because you meet that guy on the road a lot sometimes, you know, it's like he's single and just starting to travel and then it picks up. You're going to be that guy. And yeah. then you're not going to be able to not chase forever. Sure, you know? sure. You know? Um, was it hard? See, your wife's a, your wife's a genuinely funny lady. Yeah. And But was it hard when she wanted to do, or whose idea was it to do the podcast together? Um, the pod, Actually, that was 100% Rogan's idea. Of the two of you doing it? Yeah. Okay. Because I'd, I'd been opening for him. He had just started the podcast, I want to say, his in like 09. Yeah. And then, you know, I'm opening for him. We're he's touring everywhere and I'm doing weeks with him and I'm guesting on his show a lot. It's like in his house yeah, on yeah, a couch, yeah. you know? And then he's like, you should start a podcast. And I was had zero interest. And then he saw my wife at the improv in Hollywood. And like, you know, the next day I ran into him, like, I don't know if it was an airport or something. He was like, how, your wife's a comic, dude. Uh, this makes like it makes sense. Like, why don't you guys just do it? It's so easy. So he suggested it so many times that when I came home from one of those trips with him, I was like, "So do you want to like? I think we should do this. Yeah. I don't know." He keeps like, suggesting, and I didn't think I thought it would be like, I don't know, man. I thought like fifty people would listen, you know, which you know it probably did the right, first time, the but yeah. I definitely didn't think it would be worth continuing to do <laughs> I, I i don't know like my wife is actually pretty funny and yeah we did a roast for me when i turned uh no i wasn't 40 was it change the name yeah, when i changed that we used to be cowhead and when i changed the name we had a roast and the roast was great and it had norton and and uh bert and bobby kelly like all our guys yeah love and my wife was like what if i write some joy and i go yeah that'd be kind of cute you get up there and and she just went up there and crushed it. She did. And she'd crush it. And I remember telling her while she's doing it, I'm like, you know, these guys are real comedians. Yeah, yeah. You don't get too crazy because she had some cut jokes on them, like she was cutting on them. And I was like, you know, don't get too crazy with it because you don't want to look so And she just crushed everybody. I mean, she did a great job. And she's dying to do something together, like a podcast or something. And I, sure. And I genuinely think she'd be funny, but I don't know. Like, how, what if it's not? How do I tell her this is awful? And you it know, may not be you. But you're such a her. you're such a seasoned broadcaster that you would make the fact that it's not working work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you would make it cuz you've done million hours of radio, you would end up making that entertaining. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm I built the studio in my house and I have no idea what the purpose is. Oh, so do I your show used, with her, man. Yeah, well, I, I would I told her once we get everything locked in, we'll we'll at least run some test shows. You got to do that. So that Gal 